Welcome to Talking with Lammy. Today I will be interviewing Eva Carbonara for her film, The Date. My first question for you is, how does your product use or challenge conventions and how does it represent social groups or issues? I first wanted to thank you for having me. And second, that was a very good question. Well, my group and I decided to do the horror genre for our film. We chose this genre because we knew it would be interesting and keep the audience's attention throughout. In the horror genre, there are quite a lot of common conventions, which are specific fears and phobias. An example of them are death, being kidnapped, drowning, the fear of the unknown, and claustrophobia. These are very common among people throughout the world. The conventions that are film portrayed were being kidnapped and the fear of the unknown. Our film belongs in the horror genre since we challenged conventions involving the typical fears. We had a victim and there was a bad guy. We made sure to include a variety of different settings, characters, and props in our film. There was the victim, the date, which was the bad guy, and the friends. There were a few different settings also. We had Ella's house, who was the victim, The car where Ella and her friends were discussing the date with the mystery man. The restaurant where the date was supposed to take place. And the sketchy back alley where Ella was taken by her date. For props, we had fake blood and a walkie-talkie. We used the fake blood for the scene where Allison and Eva were looking for Ella in the alley and they spotted blood on the dumpster. This added a dramatic and realistic effect to our film. The walkie-talkie was a prop we used during our film as a way for Ella to communicate with Eva and Allison in case something went wrong. She didn't end up using it though and it got knocked out of her pocket when she was grabbed. All of the conventions we had throughout really brought our film together. A lot of the conventions shown in our film were specifically only in horror genre films. The convention showed the audience what genre our film was without us actually having to tell them. There are also many different social groups represented in our film, which include kidnapping, teenagers, and death. Our film can help bring awareness to the topic of kidnapping. The story of our film shows a very realistic situation that many people go through especially teenagers get themselves into these types of situations since they're inexperienced and people know that they can be taken advantage of. The main idea we had for our film was just to entertain, but I feel like it could also help spread a message and awareness to people. It shows exactly what not to do. Dating apps are a big way of contributing to people getting put in danger since it's very easy to create a made up online persona. Our film shows that it is very common for young girls to be catfished and asked to meet up, which a lot of the time leads to them getting hurt and even being kidnapped. We want people watching our film to learn from it and take all of the red flags shown into consideration in the real world. But our film is also quite entertaining since it keeps the audience on their toes. Nice answer, Eva. My next question for you is, How does your product engage with audiences and how would it be distributed as a real media text? Hmm, well, I feel like our film engages with the audiences very well. It is a quite realistic situation that could very easily become a reality for many girls. It showed a girl excited to go on a date with this mysterious guy who wants to meet for dinner very late. Her friends are worried but she still decides to go. She waits at the table for her date and then receives a text to meet him outside. It's already pretty late, but she still goes outside to meet the guy. This can be very helpful for people watching since it's showing everything not to do. While outside looking for her date in the very sketchy dark alley, she gets taken by a mysterious person hiding. It was planned and she didn't notice any of the red flags her date had revealed. Throughout her film, suspense is shown, especially because of the mystery man. She only saw a picture from his profile, 
which her friend quickly questioned it for even being him since it looked so fake. He could also only meet very late for dinner and then asked her to meet him outside in the back alley instead of inside. All of these are huge red flags that Ella was too oblivious to. My group and I had many different components a part of this project that really brought it together. We had a variety of different locations and situations to keep the audience on their toes. We made sure the ending was dramatic and we tried to act as realistic as possible. Our story was very interesting and we feel it does a good job at keeping the viewers attention. To get our film to the audience, we need to advertise, meaning ads on social media, TV ads, billboards, and just spreading the word to everyone we know. I would want to have our film streamed for big companies like Netflix and Hulu. This would be a huge aspect in expanding our viewers. Also, for the marketing aspect, we could pair up and get sponsorships with companies to expand the advertisement of our film. Wow, those ways you want to advertise are pretty creative. Well, I have another question for you. How did your production skills develop throughout this project? Well, since starting the process of planning, filming, and editing, I've grown as a filmmaker in a variety of ways. To start off, planning for this film was actually more difficult than in the past, but I feel like it was just because of the pressure of it being our final task and us wanting it to be as good as possible. This meant I had to learn to deal with the pressure, which is a good learning experience. Also, for filming, we all have quite busy schedules to work around. This led us to having to be flexible and think outside the box so we could figure out when to film and the timing for our filming. Throughout this experience of creating this film, I've learned to be more patient while dealing with group members with different opinions. Also, I noticed how much work and time actually goes into making a film that you want to turn out the best it can. Even though this wasn't the first film we've done, I feel like I grew the most during this project as a filmmaker. Editing, I realized, has been my weakest trait throughout the filmmaking process. But after we finished filming, I decided to try and learn the software better than I ever had before. I gave more ideas while editing and contributed to a lot more than compared to in the past. Even though editing is still my least favorite part about filmmaking, I feel way more confident in my editing skills and learned a lot during this project. My favorite part of filmmaking is creating the story and plot for the film. This is because you don't really have many boundaries in creating your story. You can let your imagination do all the work. Even though you do still have some rules, it's really cool seeing everyone's different ideas that we had for our film. The hard part is then deciding whose story and parts we actually get to choose for our film. Even though the filmmaking process and experience is quite fun, I would not personally go into the industry. It's not something that I'm super passionate about and I'm looking for that passion in the career I end up pursuing. But I feel like I've gotten to the point in my journey of filmmaking where I appreciate it and enjoy doing it with my group, but I wouldn't further my filmmaking career as a potential hobby or career in the future. Well, Eva, I really liked your honesty and you saying that you wouldn't actually pursue filmmaking as a career, yet you still enjoy it. A lot of people would just lie and say that they would actually do it as a future career. I have one more question for you. How did you integrate technologies in this project? Hmm, well, there was actually a lot of different technological aspects we used throughout our project. We had to use our iPhones to film the scenes and which I took it upon myself to use my phone to film most of them. So I had to make sure I had enough storage to store our scenes. We also had to communicate with each other to figure out when and where we were filming, what to bring and what to wear. 
We also communicated if we could come or if we couldn't make it that day. We used websites for the music and to research. Also to complete our blogs throughout the process on blogger.com. We used a computer and editing software called iMovie to put the film together. We also had to use YouTube to upload our film and then transfer to blogger.com to submit it. <clears throat> I was in charge of the title and the title research of our project. The title I ended up choosing was the date. I feel like this title really went with our film. This component was actually really fun to learn about and helped with creating the title for our film. I had to make sure to capture the theme and the topic of our film without giving much detail away with their title. I feel like our title is a good fit for our film and the title research helped us get to that point. Well, Eva, I really wanted to thank you for coming out on the show and answering the questions that I gave to you about the filmmaking process and the whole film in general. It was a huge pleasure to be on the show, Lammy. And I really wanted to thank you for challenging me with these questions. And I would love to come back one day when I create another film. Of course you can come back, Eva. I loved having you and it was a great experience, I feel, for both of us. I can't wait to see how far your film goes. And thank you again for coming on the show. Good night, everybody.